Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha Videos with me. This time round, we're gonna talk about something new with the episode plate that comes with Cheryl's costume points. So before we start off with that, um, let me remind you guys that I have already done a video regarding um, versions 3.30's update and there are some information um, that were not included inside the video so all the info is actually on my YouTube Facebook page once again links in the description below make sure you guys are updated with all the knowledge that is included with version 3.3.0 there's a lot of decimals <laughs> <laughs> but yes, get yourself updated and of course um, the know-how of what is included into the game right now so that you can you know make things easier for yourself. Alright, so let's dive into the gacha page and take a look at Cheryl's brand new episode plate and see what kind of brand new skill this episode plate comes with that makes things a whole lot more interesting. I suppose. So immediately we are on the last page of the episode play and you can tell sadly it doesn't come with any special notes attached to it but that's fine considering that it is the first of its kind and well the skill is basically the more important thing that we're gonna find out about because it's gonna change high score achievements uh, to a whole new level. <laughs> Alright so first page the total score of this episode plate is about 3864. You know, there of course is a bit of a well balanced stat all around. And of course, you want to pay attention to who else is usable um, on for this episode plate, I suppose. Um, just because, you know, you might like Mikumo, Kaname, and Basara more than Cheryl. Yeah. And, well, considering that it's a new episode plate with a brand new skill yeah you definitely want to see who is usable with this episode play all right so center skill total up 30 percent eh, it's 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 low it's not meant to be used as a center position episode play definitely so let's move on to the next page all right so immediately active skill 30 percent recovery this is pathetically low i mean the decent amount or the highest percentage of recovery is 50%. Um, so, definitely, Cheryl's plate is not meant to be used as a center position episode plate, but a life skill support. So, here we go, we have a brand new life skill that we have not seen before, and apparently, there was this triangular tab because the text is just too much. <laughs> so let's tap onto it and this is the full text to the skills effects. So basically, if you want to know, yes, the skill is called score damage. Um, I would say enhancement because the kanji is basically is to evolve or to strengthen. You know, so enhancement is definitely a the better English term to use it for. So score and damage enhancement. Okay, so basically your life, um, you know, your depletion, and of course your standard regular effects of the uh, score and damage is all there. But the only difference is with this episode played around, your score and damage percent is boosted to 60% up. So yes, this skill is a booster. It doesn't have the ability of score and damage on its own. So you need other episode plates with the score and damage ability around for this plate to boost them up to 60%. Up. So yeah, it's it's a pretty useless plate by itself. But you know, considering it has a pretty high total score, you can just use it like um, the event red boss. Uh, episode plates, they have very good total score but their skills are not activated unless they are on the specific songs so yes, you can treat this episode plate the same just using it for its good total stats and that's it um, aside from that, 
unless the rest of your divas are equipped with score and damage abilities, this effect is basically now, or rather not in use. <laughs> So, a very interesting episode played that Dana has decided to toss into the whole mix of stuff uh, already available in our arsenal. So yes, uh, is this plate definitely something you want to attain? Well, it's the first of its kind. It wouldn't hurt to actually have it around, especially if you want to improve your high score and considering the fact that the episode plate is of a very hard to come by series the Yellow Star series. Uh, there are too many plates of this element, so yeah, there's abundance of terrible effects of these episode plates as well. So, you know, uh, it was always nice to have it around. Plus, uh, the skill is versatile, you can mix with other colors, especially if you want to tackle high score for um, those rainbow series in, in the songs. You know, those, those that lets you mix around your colour and episode plates to, you know, do a very good high score. If not, colour series high score achievement is also a thing still. So yeah, just see how you want to play around with these effects. Personally, it doesn't hurt to have these kind of episode plates around. Just a copy will do, you know, one of each colour. That's, that's pretty much more than enough, in fact, because this effect I doubt it will stack. So you just need one of this and the rest of your episode plates are like score and damage. <laughs> You'll definitely be taking a lot of damage. Uh, maybe with a active skill that recovers life, you know, so you prevent yourself from dying. I think it's a pretty good combo <laughs> for high score achievements. You probably can get something insane like maybe a uh, uh, I don't know, 10 million, <laughs> 10 million high score. Uh, yeah, so with all that said, you know, if you have the singing stones for it, go for it. But I still think getting a 7 star episode plate is still the priority right here. If you have not attained one for yourself yet. Uh, aside from that, you know, if you got the spare stones, go for it. Now, uh, if not, wait for an uh, episode plate that uh, might feature your favourite diva in the future, um, you can definitely expect maybe a different coloured series episode plate in the future that will have a similar effect to this one. So yeah, anyway guys, I am just going to do the template pool that is discounted um, from my last video. If you have not watched it yet, my luck is definitely drained dry. <laughs> so I am not expecting anything fancy from this pool, but well, who knows, you know, Dana might just surprise me in the end. Oh, we do get some decent speed of load. Here we go, the Valkyrie animation. Okay, expected <laughs> a terrible animation, but we all know the animation sometimes don't do justice. So we do get two red boxes. Okay, the first episode plate is definitely costume points for Cheryl's costume, which is what I want. So I can unlock a costume via episode ops, even though, wow, that's a lot of it. <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining, I'm pretty happy. All right, here's the first red box. So no evolution. Yes, Ranka is wearing a mask. Everyone, make sure you stay at home, <laughs> wash your hands constantly when you can, and yeah, stay protected from the viruses that's going around now. Alright, here we go, the last red box, so like expected, no evolution for the episode plate, but you know, that's pretty okay considering I got three episode plates with costume points. And I got Ranka to take off her mask. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not a good thing during this time period. So, <laughs> yeah, I, that's a pretty okay pull, if you ask me, considering that it fulfilled my minimum requirement of getting costume points. So, yeah, guys, what do you guys think about the brand new skill on Cheryl's episode plate? 
let me know in the comments down below and of course let me know how you guys did for your own personal pools leave a like on this video if you appreciate the translated content as usual subscribe if you have not subscribed because why aren't you <laughs> i don't know yeah, if you guys are playing Mutame Cross, definitely subscribe to my channel for more information like this. And of course, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Until then, bye!